Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, our quote of the day is from the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America, which states that all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Since today is the 4th of July, America's Independence Day, there is nothing more suitable than this quote from the Declaration of Independence that was signed today in 1776, making the 13 states united, free, and independent, no longer under British rule. This is really a very powerful statement, suggesting a person's freedom and equality. But do we really live our lives in freedom and see ourselves as equal? Well, the unfortunate answer is no. We conform our behaviors to societal norms following what our parents are also doing. With time, these norms become our identity. They form who we are. We are conforming to behave in certain ways and to think in certain ways and even to react to specific things in certain ways. Now television from an early age shows our children how they should behave, what they should be eating and why they and what they should be wearing and the shows that, that we watch on television dictate the conformative behavioral patterns that we should be following. And this is how we are expected to behave and anything out of this norm is deemed as crazy, bad or wrong and uh, so on. So, are we really free? Well, the answer is no. We have put ourselves into a comfortable box and anything that threatens this identity that we have created for ourselves is seen as a threat to us. We always put the blame on anything that is threatening this identity that we have formed and there is always a way that we find to justify our behavior. And what about equality? Well, most of us spend our days belittling ourselves in our mind and feeling inferior to other people. We say in our mind that the other person is better than us because they have studied more or because they were in this or that job, because they are married or because they have more money or because they are taller or stronger and the list really never ends. Although we have the right and we are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is we who get in the way of us having true freedom, having a life, and having the happiness in that life that we deserve. We are the ones that are blocking the greatness and the abundance that we deserve to have from coming to us. We are normally the ones who block out life from our life. Well, we choose to stay in bad relationships just because we don't want to be seen by society as failures. We stay in jobs that we hate because we fear that we will not be accepted for anything better. And we stay in our habits because we love the comfort and fear any change. We lock ourselves in a self-made prison, believing that we cannot get out. It is really like the story of the elephants in the circus. The story starts with a young boy who came to visit the circus with his grandfather who used to work in the circus. After the show was over, he was curious, the young boy was curious and asked to go around back of the tent where he saw the elephants. They, these elephants were tied with a small rope to a very small pole. And the boy asked his grandfather why these elephants just don't walk away, why they stay there because the boy understood that the elephant was much, much stronger than the rope holding him in his place. And his grandfather explained to him that when the elephants were young, they were tied to the ground with a very strong peg. And they tried to escape, but to no avail. And as the elephants grew older, they could be tied with lighter ropes because the elephants just thought that they could not break away. So they never tried again. And this is what we tend to do in our life. We take things as truth and never again re-examine whether they, what we see is and what have, may have been true for us years ago 
is still true and relevant for us today. Most of us are living in the prison of our mind, never taking a second thought about whether this is really the truth or whether this is really right or if it is really wrong for us now. We don't think twice about whether we should really do this or we should really do that or should we do anything any different from what we've been doing it till this moment or whether it is really necessary to do anything. These thought patterns form our life and determine whether or not we are happy, whether or not we are free, and whether or not we are really alive and living our life or not. It takes a lot of courage to test the rope and see if we are really tied down. And it takes even more courage when we find out that we're not really tied down to walk away and do the right thing for us and for those around us. We are all created with the ability to walk away from the confinements that we have created in our minds. We are all equal in our ability to choose what is right for us and where we really want to be. We have all, we are equally free to do this. All we have to do is stop conforming and start living. So how do we do this? Well, in Eastern traditions, people are taught to remove themselves in spiritual Eastern traditions to remove yourself from the situation by looking at it from the eyes that are outside of the situation. And this allows you to separate yourself from any situation which allows you to contemplate and make the right choice for you. When you remove yourself from the situation, you are really uh, allowing yourself, you are freeing yourself to become your true free nature. And you can take uh, yourself out of any situation by becoming like an observer of the situation instead of taking part in the situation. Just like you go to a football game, you are the observer and you're not playing the game. So you can take this uh, point of view about any situation and be the observer instead of being the player in the situation. And this will allow you to determine whether this behavior or emotion are still right and relevant for you. By distancing yourself from this behavior or emotion, you can see if it is really the right way for you to be. To see if this is still your truth, this is how you do it. Does this behavior resonate with your true being? Societal norms will slowly in this way, have less power over you and you will find your true self and become free from the reins of ex external forces and be open to your true light shining through. So, are you conforming or are you really free to be true and, and true to yourself? Do you feel a sense of equality with people that you admire? All you have to do to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as stated in the Declaration of Independence, is to distance yourself and separate yourself from any given situation and see how your true self would really choose to behave or react in that situation. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life towards a better place for you. So the question of the day is, Am I really free? Am I really living the way I would choose to live? And am I really doing what is right for me? Am I being truthful to myself? So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and see how your life is improving and where, in which direction, you want your, uh, to make sure that your life is going. The affirmation of the day is, I am open to giving myself the freedom to be all that I can be. I am open to giving myself the freedom to be all that I can be. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to form a new you. So I wish you a wonderful day 
And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with natural living and a healthy lifestyle. Thank you very much for joining.